Soup normally takes, what, a few minutes to heat up? Sometimes you can cook yourself maybe a little bit too much, and then you've got leftovers to put in the fridge for another day. But if you don't eat it all, then you have to pretty much throw it out. However, there's a pan of soup that's been on the cooker for over 45 years. Yes, um, I do not know what this would taste like. Hello! Welcome to Brain Spill, the laziest show on the internet. My name is Tank, and at the time the article that I originally got this story from reported on it, this was 2019, so the soup is probably actually around 48 to 49 years on the go. So, almost at the big 5-0, and therefore, this soup has been cooking for almost half a century. A restaurant in Thailand, Bangkok, called Watana Panish, has been serving food from the same broth for a period of over 45 years. This is a family-run business, which quite literally must run through generations. I'm sure if you did the same thing here, you'd get shut down for safety violations, as far as the eye could see, but I guess we have to dive into this to find out what all the hype is about, why they've been using the same broth for over 45 years, and how safe this actually is. This is basically a beef noodle soup named Nia Toon, probably pronounced that incorrectly, but it is a very popular dish in the area, and this is pretty much what they've been making in the same pot for over 45 years. Now, everybody that hears this, I imagine, are probably pretty impressed with the soup itself, but the thing that I'm impressed with is the fact that they've used the same pot for over 45 years. I mean, whoever made this thing must be pretty good. I bought a frying pan online and it lasted about three months before the handle came off, so this pot must be pretty dang good. Let me know who made it, because I might buy myself one of those. On the daily, the pot is filled up with other fresh meats, such as raw beef, tripe, and pretty much any organs you can get your hands on, to be thrown in and mixed into the broth itself. I wonder if there's been any loose pieces of beef in there that's been floating around for all of these 45 years. Eh, maybe. So, this soup that's been swilling around for almost five decades at this point. However, there must be something good about it because this business has stayed open all of these years. Something that makes this truly special and something that people want to keep coming back and having more. I know many restaurants that open and close within a couple of years, so these guys are doing pretty dang good from selling the same soup that entire time. The secret is apparently the broth itself, in that the longer it's cooked for, the better it tastes. You may have noticed around the edge of the pan is this stuff. That, my friends, is 45 years of broth spillover. This is apparently a tradition and really adds to the whole 45 years thing. It's still hard to believe it tastes as good as it does, so it must be something with the technique. Surely. Yes, the technique, because certainly the type of beef you put in there makes next to no difference. Apparently, you can put in pretty much any beef you want and it will all be pretty much the same because it's not really the beef that adds to it, that's just thrown in for flavour. It's more so the broth itself. So yes, the more likely answer is probably the fact that it's been cooking for just so long. It's said that this is actually an ancient cooking method that gives the soup a unique flavour and aroma. With how long this thing's been cooking for, I do wonder what it tastes like when you have it in comparison to a fresh soup, for example. I guess if you never throw out the soup after a couple of days of cooking, it will probably amalgamate into a unique noodle and soup flavour sensation. So, provided you keep the broth going from the night before, and you use it again and again, then you can kind of keep going. Even for over a period of 45 years, mind you. This ancient cooking technique also goes by a few other names, which has been used throughout centuries a number of times before, such as the perpetual stew and the hunter's pot. This is the practice of keeping a pot of soup slowly simmering all the time, where ingredients such as meats and vegetables are basically just replenished as and when they need to. The broth itself, however, is what keeps simmering. So, the question that everybody's asking, even though you can cook a pot of soup for this long, is it safe and is it healthy? Most people will probably look at this thing and think, this pot has not been cleaned for 45 years. I think most people, after hearing that, might give this one a miss. However, apparently it's very safe. The pot is almost fully depleted by the end of each cycle, so only the broth base is left before it's refilled with another batch. 
Whilst it's easy to say that it is the same soup, the vast majority will be gone by the time that it comes to refilling the pot and mixing it all back up for the next batch of stew. Like I said, this is an ancient technique, and the concept of a perpetual pot has been studied before when a French beef stew apparently lasted 21 years. At the time of the report of this stew, it was likely one of the longest running pots of continuous soup in the New York area, and maybe even the United States itself. This was not intentional however, as it was reported at the time that the reason that this pot kept going was mainly out of laziness, due to the fact that it was easier to let the fire go and keep simmering this pot away than it was to extinguish it and relight it the next day. So out of pure laziness, you created yourself a perpetual stew. The writer of the New York Times article at the time suggested refrigerating the soup overnight if it was left unfinished and then skimming the fat off the top where any bacteria might build up. This would get rid of the worst of anything that may have been started to grow or fester on this 21 year old soup dish. This would then be simmered again for at least 20 minutes before serving the following day. Leftover veggies and meats are discarded after two rounds of reheating. So I guess it's not eternal by most people's measures. In this article, there is a reference to a, a pot au feu in Normandy, which had reportedly been burning for 300 years, and another one that began in the 1400s, but didn't survive World War II, which is a real shame because, well, war is war, but apparently an everlasting soup isn't actually everlasting. So in comparison, this soup that we've been talking about today in Bangkok doesn't stand aflame against one of the ones that's been going for hundreds of years, but to say that it's almost at 50 years itself, it's certainly on the way. I mean, this is impressive in itself, and the family-run business I was talking about has apparently been running for at least three generations at this point, with hopes that their children will carry on this tradition and keep making the noodle beef stew that they've made for almost 50 years. I mean, hell, this soup is probably even going to outlast me. And I know that on my deathbed, the one thing that I'm going to want to know is I want somebody to pull up a live stream of this pot of soup because, of course, the future, everything's going to be live streamed. And I want to know if it's still cooking. And then I'll know for sure whether I've outlived a pot of soup or not. But you never know. So, three generations on, this family is still making the soup. And I wonder how long it will go on for. I hope for many, many years to come. If you guys liked that video, here's another one just like it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Fantastic.